swarmers! Welcome back to the hive. Every year on February 2nd, World Wetlands Day is observed to raise global awareness about the important role of wetlands for our planet. Wetlands are land areas that are saturated or flooded with water, either permanently or seasonally. Inland wetlands include marshes, ponds, lakes, fens, rivers, floodplains, and swamps. Coastal wetlands include saltwater marshes, estuaries, mangroves, lagoons, and even coral reefs. Fish ponds, rice paddies, and salt pans are human-made wetlands. Today, we're talking about one of the most important and endangered wetlands, mangroves. By some estimates, less than 50% of the world's mangrove forests were intact at the end of the 20th century, and half of those that remain are in poor condition. Mangrove forests are among the most threatened habitats in the world, and mangrove loss is rampant across the globe. Mangrove forests are comprised of various kinds of trees and shrubs that grow in saline coastal sediment habitats in the tropics and subtropics, and are characterized by a depositional coastal environment, where fine sediments, often with high organic content, collect in areas protected from high energy wave action. The saline conditions tolerated by various mangrove species range from brackish water through pure seawater to water concentrated by evaporation to over twice the salinity of ocean seawater. Mangroves are actually the only species of trees in the world that can tolerate salt water. Their strategy for dealing with otherwise toxic levels of salt? Excrete it through their waxy leaves. So, why are mangrove forests so important? Mangroves, specifically the underwater habitat their roots provide, offer critical nursing environments for juveniles of thousands of fish species, from one-inch gobies to 10-foot sharks. An estimated 75% of commercially caught fish spend some time in the mangroves, or depend on food webs that can be traced back to these coastal forests. Mangroves are what are known as blue carbon ecosystems. Blue carbon refers to carbon dioxide removed from the atmosphere by the world's coastal ocean ecosystems. Mangroves can be up to 10 times more efficient than terrestrial ecosystems at absorbing and storing carbon long term, making them a critical solution in the fight against climate change. Mangrove forests, specifically their thick, impenetrable roots, are vital to shoreline communities as natural buffers against storm surges, an increasing threat in a changing global climate with rising sea levels. The sturdy root systems of mangrove trees help form a natural barrier against violent storm surges and floods. River and land sediment is trapped by the roots, which protects coastline areas and slows erosion. This filtering process also prevents harmful sediment reaching coral reefs and seagrass meadows. What is happening to the world's mangrove forests? By far the greatest threat to the world's mangrove forests is the rapidly expanding shrimp aquaculture industry. Hundreds of thousands of acres of lush wetlands have been cleared to make room for artificial ponds that are densely stocked with shrimp. In Thailand, Mexico, and Indonesia, mangroves are often cut down to make room for temporary pens. But once the pens have been removed, the accumulated bio-waste renders the water too toxic for most forms of life. Many thousands of acres of mangrove forest have also been destroyed to make way for rice paddies, rubber trees, palm oil plantations, and other forms of agriculture. Farmers often use fertilizers and chemicals, and runoff containing these pollutants makes its way into water supplies. Despite being resilient, mangroves can tolerate only a limited amount of industrial and agricultural pollution without dying. Additionally, mangrove ecosystems are at particular risk of being polluted by plastic carried from rivers to the sea. 54% of mangrove habitat is within 20 kilometers, or 12 miles, of a river that discharges more than a ton of plastic waste a year into the ocean, according to a new paper published in the journal Science of the Total Environment. Mangroves in Southeast Asia are especially threatened by riverborne plastic pollution, the researchers found. How can we protect this vital natural resource? Look for sustainable alternatives to eating farmed shrimp from mangrove areas and avoid palm oil whenever possible. 
You can also look for sustainability certifications on other agricultural products that come from mangrove areas. Find local conservation and government organizations in your area that are working to conserve mangrove forests and support them. We are all working hard to eliminate plastic waste from our own lives, but it's going to take concerted governmental action to tackle what is now an overwhelming plastic pollution crisis. Manufacturers need to be made responsible for what they are putting out into our world. So write to and vote for leaders willing to take on the plastics industry. And head over to worldwetlandsday.org for more info on our wonderful wetlands and more info on how you can get involved to protect them. Thank you for joining us, Swarmers, as always. We will see you next time. Thank you.